Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about another one of my hobbies. I am a, quite the fan of nail polish. I love nail polish and um, I can't resist uh, those collections that cosmetics companies keep bombarding us with every season or almost every month nowadays. Um, but I, I just have to at least go look at, at the nail polishes. I don't know what it is. But uh, so I, today I'd like to share with you some of the storage solutions I've come up with and um but of course always keeping in line with the theme of my channel which is thrifting so let me show you the setup that i have come up with and by the way this is about as much room as i am willing to devote to this little hobby of mine and so whatever fits here fits here and when and if it ever is full that is it because I just don't have the room for for anything more. So this bottom cube I found at the Goodwill, and uh, I've had this for a long time. So I can't remember if I paid five or seven dollars for it, but I know it wasn't more than seven dollars. And the original purpose of this um, cube is for scrapbooking. So right here in these slots would be where scrapbookers would would keep their paper and their cardboard. And so what I keep here are some books that I found, these uh, beauty books I found at the Goodwill also quite a while back. And then I also keep a few magazines here that I also need to sort through and see what needs to be donated. And so these slots right here would be where our scrapbookers would keep those plastic containers with their glitter stickers and stuff like that. They nest right in here. But what I keep them, what I use it for is in this first slot, I keep uh, white felt, which is what I use to remove my nail polish because felt is a lot better than cotton at removing nail polish because it doesn't leave those little fibers sticking on your nail like cotton does. And of course, make sure it's white. Uh, felt and not any of the colored filter you're gonna end up with green or red or orange fingers or whatever I also keep these two little uh, Nail art Plates that is for stamping nail art on your nails, but I haven't really played much with these so I'm, I'm not really that much into nail art and then I have these um, Nail art wheels that you can get us at Sally's. I think they're like five dollars for a whole bunch of them and uh, this is just for swatching nail polish then I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these little baskets and you get three baskets for a dollar and in this first basket I keep my nail treatments and base coats and top coats and um, say for example this one which is uh, my favorite nail treatment I believe one bottle on its own of this is like $8, but if you go to Ross Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you can usually find a double set of them for like $5, which is a pretty good deal. And this second one is where I keep the Franken polishes that I have made. And a Franken polish is basically a polish that you mix together yourself from polishes that maybe you didn't like as much or you're running out of one polish so you just pour from others to make a whole new one kind of like Frankenstein was made of a bunch of different body parts and then this uh, third one is empty and what I did then is I went uh, to the dollar store again and I got a roll of this grippy sticky material that is used for lining the drawers of your kitchen drawer so that your utensils don't slip and slide around in there and this is also a dollar and you can find this for a dollar in any store and it goes a long way because I lined all the little baskets and then I lined all the drawers in this top cube right here now right now I'm in the process of going through a lot of these to see which ones I am going to keep and which ones I am going to donate and which ones I am going to put up for swap. 
I like to swap uh, nail polishes because sometimes some people miss out on colors from a particular collection and if I have it and never used it or didn't like it when I did use it then um, that is a good way to just instead of cluttering up my space um, somebody else can take advantage of them. So a lot of them are going to get donated, some of them are going to get swapped, and some of them I'm going to use to make uh, other colors. Now this cube right here I got at a craft store called Michael's. And Michael's always has a 40% uh, off coupon in the Sunday paper. So I paid $17 for this cube uh, after the coupon. And again this is also for scrapbooking. So that, that's if you're interested in this, that's where you can find it in the scrapbooking section. And uh, here would be where you would label um, what your supplies, what supplies you're keeping in here. And um, if you are so inclined as to fill this entire thing with nail polish, uh, this would hold about 350 bottles. Um, I don't have 350 bottles, but I do have more than the average citizen. So I. To show you all of them would take forever, but I will make another video showing you some of my favorites. Then up here I have this little makeup bag that I found at uh, the thrift store for 99 cents. And this is where I keep uh, nail treatments, hand sanitizer, cuticle remover, that sort of thing. Then from Kohl's, I found this lamp, which has this coil uh, neck so that you can position it any way you want. And then it has this clip so that you can clip it to the edge of a table or anywhere you need it. And this uh, lamp, I take it with me wherever it is that I'm going to do my manicure and I need some extra light. And uh, this was 75% off at Kohl's so I paid I believe like $6.95 for it and uh, this has come in very handy not just for that but for all kinds of different things also if I'm crocheting and I need some extra light this is really really good and then I have this little picture frame that I was given for Christmas a few years ago by a co-worker and I love the sentiment on it so I I keep this here so I can see it every day and um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and as always thanks for watching.